He said, nine mine. Let's go over the term aborigine and aboriginal. Was aborigine, even though we know the understanding and the definition of the word, was it applied to uh, Native Americans or the first inhabitants in America? And can we even find it used to denote Africans. You can't. The term Aborigine is a Roman term. But before we go into it, let's listen to Malcolm X, provided by Dan Calloway. Aborigine, which means what? Black folks. But you never find a white Aborigine. Or uh, rather, Aborigines are called natives, or they are always dark in people. You and I are Aborigines, but you don't like to be called an Aborigine. You want to be called an American. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Aborigine actually means from the beginning. <laughs> Two Latin words, ab meaning from, origine meaning the beginning. beginning, beginning, beginning. Okay, so that was Malcolm X in the 1960s giving you a breakdown on Aborigine, stating that Aborigines are black folks. But that's not necessarily the case. Now, you can apply the term to the original Eumelanonite sun beings, which is us, with woolly hair. You can apply that term, but the term doesn't come from us. Okay, the term doesn't come from us. Let's look into it. Give me a moment. Let's set it up. First, let's peruse the definition. Okay. <clears throat> Now, we know what the definition is, Ab, as Malcolm X said, away from, off, means arise, commencement, beginning, source, descent, lineage, and birth, right? In the sense, this word is the same as origin, okay? But when you have Ab in front of it, and it's away from, it's away from the original, all right? But Aboriginal, it tells you first, earliest existing from the beginning, that is the 1660s, especially in reference to inhabitants of lands colonized by Europeans. The specific Australian sense is attested from 1820. An original inhabitant and a top nine. Okay, an original inhabitant. Right. And then you have origin. Okay. Now, when you look at ab, right, it means away from, from, off, down, denoting this junction, separation, and departure, okay, away from. So, wouldn't ab original be away from the original, right? Aborigines. In mythology. And this is the first usage of the term being that Aborigine is a Latin term, okay? The Aborigines in Roman mythology are the oldest inhabitants of central Italy. Now, we know the original inhabitants of Italy were dark-skinned people, right? But where did these dark-skinned people derive from? They derived from Africa, right? They were supposed to have descended from their mountain home near Riyadh, an ancient Sabine town upon Latium, where they expelled the Sicils and subsequently settled down as Latini under a king Latinus. Now, you really got to study Roman and Greek mythology to really understand some of these terms, right? But as you see right here, this is dealing with Roman mythology, okay? 
Other etymological explanations suggested are Aborigines, meaning tree born or nomads. Okay, Lycophron calls people, calls the people of Central Italy. I don't know how to say that, Borre Joni, but you need to look that up. You need to look that up. Okay, and then let's get into an article talking about Aborigine in, in regards to applying it to the original inhabitants of America. The common currency of all these terms, Aborigine, Indian, Indigenous, or First Nations, their uses and valency in government, legal, and scholarly context are often offensive. Okay. Nobody in America called themselves the original Aborigines. Okay. You won't find any text with any Native Americans or indigenous black people in America calling themselves Aborigines. So the term is often offensive to tribal groups, especially when used in an international totalizing and universal way to define radically different groups because they have the effect of homogenizing peoples in ways that early imperial anthropology created others as indigenous in differentiation and opposition to colonial settlers, often using these labels for legal, educational, administrative, and policing or poli policing purposes. Okay. We'll jump down here. It breaks down indigenous. The general sense of the term applied to that produced, growing, living, or occurring naturally in a particular region or environment. So we understand that this is why the term is being used, right? But by using it today, these abos, these pretendians, this doesn't mean that you're the original inhabitant of America. All right. The general sense of the term applied to that produced, growing, living, or occurring naturally in a particular region or environment also sometimes used as a synonym for native, innate, aborigine, endemic, and inborn. Okay, there is a strong sense of replication to the term with the evolution of the indigenous group being self-derived. All right, so it tells you up here, okay, that the term indigenous wasn't used until the 1640s. All right, it wasn't used until the 1640s. Okay, now it says the word aborigine falls also in the same family of terms, but is often used in relation to Australian and Canadian tribal peoples. The same problems also accompany the term Indian when used of American and the Canadian tribal peoples. In this case, the term springs from an older usage when before Christopher Columbus, the word India and Indies was used to label the entire Asian subcontinent Later, it was applied and qualified as an American Indian. The word Maori, while in use before 1815, did not appear in writing until 1850. Okay, and so that's a breakdown on Aborigine. So ask yourself, are you really an Aborigine? Because in the true sense of the term, you would be saying that you are a Roman. Fact or fiction? Peace and light. Like and subscribe and hold it down.